let's do a makeover on the shed. Welcome back to Horticulture Geek. I'm Ray and today we're tackling a quick project. We are going to be making over this shed. Um, I've got some windows I want to add to it to provide more lights in there because it is the garden shed and I do overwinter my plants in there. So let's turn the camera around and look at this project. All right, so here is the front of the garden shed. Um, and right now, I've got two solar lights on the outside. Those will be going away. So once these two come down, my thought is I'm gonna be putting windows on either side. And those windows are actually coming from an upcycle with these old bifold closet doors. These are from an old coat closet. And so I'm going to be cutting the doors in half right above, right below the window. And then that will give me my windows that will go on either side of the door here. And these are decorative windows. And then I've got some two by fours to help frame everything out. And then probably won't um, have it done for this video, but after the windows go in, then I've got to paint um, the trim on this shed and the windows will be all painted white. So I'm gonna leave the body of the shed blue because I like that, but I think all the trim and the door will be painted white. So let's go inside here and look around at the inside. And here is all my garden mess. So you can see I've got pots, I've got baskets, I've got plants. There's all sorts of stuff in here. And so here's where we've got to cut out um, for the windows. So this shelf will have to come down. This two by four will have to be cut and then we'll frame in for the whole of the new um, window. And then the same thing over here. So I've got to remove my shelf here that has all my empty pots and stuff and all my gardening things. And then I'll have to cut and frame out for this window here. And then once I get the windows in, I can, I think my high shelves will be okay. I may have to take those down and move them up a little higher, but then, you know, stuff like this can still set back in front of it. <clears throat> so this is not a huge shed. It is a very small shed actually, but it's a very practical space for me and for any gardener really um, to have a place where you can put all your plants in the winter. Um, so I'm going to, I use this almost like a greenhouse, which is why I want more windows. But then also like all my old pots and the stuff I'm not using right now. Um, I keep some pool stuff in here too. So this is the project at hand. Um, I'm just going to be filming on and off throughout this project and we'll show you as much of it as we can and show you the end as soon as it's ready. <laughs> solar lights off and we've marked out where we need to start cutting for this window to go in so that's our next step is we will drill a hole and then work a saw in and cut this hole out and fit our window So if our cutout is correct, it should just come right out now. And there we have our hole. All right. So here is the roughed in windows. Uh, so I didn't film too much of it because 
one once you see me start to cut one hole then it's the exact same process over here and once you've seen me start to cut one board it's the exact same process over here so i filmed a little here and there just to give you the gist of it and then now let's move in close and so you can see i've got a screw here and a screw here and then i've got a nail and a nail there so here's how we did this on the inside and now again pardon the mess it's it's a wreck in here Ooh, let's get to this window it's not as bright so all we did was we ripped down some boards and basically used these boards as a sleeve and so the screws that you saw on the outside come into this board and then the nail gun that we use gets through this old door into this and that's what holds the whole thing in so that it's it's secure it's not going anywhere um, and it was very minimal framing needed and you can see here i just kind of chunked this away um, right there now again this is a shed this is not a residential building um it, it is nothing that anybody's going to live in um, so you can get away with some pretty janky stuff um, there's no codes that need to be followed here for a shed build so even though that looks a bit rough on the inside it's okay it is not hurting anything and structurally this is fine that extra two by four down the middle was literally just extra because that span is not so dramatic that it, the building is going to be unstructurally sound with that cut so everything is fine here structurally it is good i wanted to point that out because i know i might have some people that be like oh no you cut a board and then while we're here let's just look at this i did not film this process but since this is kind of turning into a vlog style anyway got my raised bed fixed up today as well worked on that this morning um the previous boards that i had here were untreated and what happened is as the water came down the driveway these boards stayed incredibly wet and then with the soil behind it they just rotted quickly so i went back in with treated lumber here um, and today's treated lumber is non-toxic. It is perfectly fine to be used in raised beds. So now I have some treated boards here and my raised bed is finally fixed. And I'm ready now to start filling in with some good compost and soil. You can see I've already started working it up a little bit since I had to work on it this morning. And now back to this. So there's another view of it and that's, that's my little heater. Um, that is a thermostatically controlled heater that I leave in there in case the temperature drops to keep my plants alive. So there is the windows in my shed, guys. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick video. Um, again, I, I didn't show very many things in depth or in detail because it, there just really isn't a lot to show here. Um, the main point that I wanna convey to you out there is if you're thinking about sprucing up a shed that you have existing on your property just go for it figure it out um, be frugal that's what i do as you can tell those were literally coat closet bifold doors you saw me cut them in half you saw me pop them in i literally just cut a hole in the wall of my shed and framed them in as best i could so now i have light in there which makes the plants happier and i think they're actually look nice and once i get it painted obviously that'll be phase two a future video i'm not going to worry about that right now but i think it looks good so feel free to do something like this don't let your fear hold you back um, if you've got a project you've been wanting to work on get out there and do it find the resources that you need and make it happen all right guys, future Ray here. Um, as I was editing this video, I realized I forgot to say a few things. And so I'm coming back here, um, which is obviously no change in the video for you. But I wanted to say that you need to make sure before you tackle any sort of renovation project like this, um, to check with your city or county first if you live in an area that requires permitting. 
Um, so for me, I live inside of city limits. So I had to check permitting. You may have to check permitting as well. Even for a project like a shed or a garden shed or anything like that. Um, so I wanted to make sure I said that before people said something in the comments um, that you do need to check with your local city or government administration office to make sure you don't need a permit. Or if you do, you get the proper permits to prevent you from getting in trouble later. Um, so it has been several days since the windows went in. Um, I've really been enjoying them, and I hope that this video has inspired you. Uh, maybe you can think of a project somewhere in your yard, or garden, or home that you can tackle. Don't be afraid to upcycle. Find something at a flea market or on Craigslist or Facebook or wherever you can find something. Um, and don't be afraid to upcycle it and use it. So I've still got a lot of work to do here in my garden shed. I've got to clean it, organize it, get ready for seed starting, and I've got to paint it still. So there's still a lot of work to do here in mine, but I hope you have enjoyed this video. That's the bottom line, guys, for every time I put out a video is, you know, hopefully that you guys will enjoy it and it'll inspire you in some way in your home or garden. So if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I would love that. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. I would love to hear from you. And make sure you've hit that subscribe bell so that you know every time we post something new. Um, so there will be more videos coming in this series, and maybe you don't want to miss them. I would hate for you to. So thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, from my garden to yours, I wish you all the best and happy gardening.